So, this happened yesterday at Nick All-Star's biggest tournament. It had 700 people, and at this point, the game had been out for two days, and this set just projected the trajectory of the rest of this tournament and the game's future, because Grand Finals looked a little like this. If you're seeing this for the first time, then you're probably thinking, wow, this guy sucks, he's playing a bad character, and you'd be very wrong. This is Winner's Finals, and Kirby Kid somehow got Ren and Stimpy there. This is Thunder's Reign, one of the best Project M players of all time. And this is Kirby Kid, the best K. Rule in Smash Ultimate. Every time one of them did something hype and insane, the other would respond right back with something equally as insane. For this tournament in particular, we had players from Melee, Smash Ultimate, Project M, Rivals of Ether, Slap City, and Brawlhalla. This game has done something beautiful. It combined every platform fighter community, even if it was just for this one tournament. I'm excited to see where this game will be going in the future. Day one, there was a Nick Invitational that raised $90,000 for breast cancer research. And day two, we get a massive tournament with six different communities involved and 700 entrants. Why is this all so important? Because we have a dev team and a company that cares about all of us, unlike Nintendo and Smash. They're going to listen to the community and take suggestions for balance and potential changes to the game. It looks like Nickelodeon will be sponsoring future tournaments and even giving prize support to help us grow. Now as we all know, Ultimate revealed their last DLC for the game, which means final patch and probably the last time we'll hear from them until they try to cancel another tournament or announce a new Smash in a few years. For now, the Nintendo door has closed, and on the same day as Sora being revealed as DLC, the Nickelodeon door opens. So many of us have said fuck Nintendo, but now we can say it with more meaning behind it because we as a community have someone who supports all of us, and it's Nick All-Stars. The Smash community has done a lot on their own, but what happens now when we get actual support from a team that cares? All good things. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to highlight this little moment in history for Nick All Stars and where we're going to be going in the future. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. I mainly post about Rivals of Ether content, but I'll be dipping my toes in Nick All Stars content as well. Here's all my socials, and I hope you all have a good day.